this video, I'm going to work out an individual integral. It is going to be a straight basic U substitution integral, one that would be um, found in a Calc 1 class uh, really early on into that integration section right after you had learned U substitution. In this video, we're going to take a look at the integral of x squared over the square root of x to the third minus 1 dx. We're going to start by letting our u be the x to the third minus 1. So u is x to the third minus 1. We're going to take the derivative of both sides. So du is equal to 3x squared dx. We're going to go ahead and solve all the way down for dx. So we'll divide both sides by that 3x squared. So du over 3x squared is equal to dx. Then we're going to come up here to the original integral and we're going to start doing some substitutions. Um, the x to the second will stay on top. It'll be the square root of, and then we will replace x to the third minus 1 with our u. We will replace dx with what we said that was equal to. So du over 3x squared. All right, what that's going to allow us to do then is to take those x squareds and cross them out. Hopefully you can see that a one-third there is going to come out in front of the integral. So we're going to have one-third, the integral of one over. I'm going to go ahead and write this as u to the one-half, taking that out of that radical form, and then du. Next step is we're going to need to move the u to the one-half up to the top using our laws of exponents. So then we'll have a one-third the integral of u to a negative one-half du. We are now to a place where we can integrate this. We can add one to that exponent, which is going to give us, if we add one to that exponent, we'll have a u to the one-half. Taking that reciprocal then in front, we'll have a two. We've completed the integration, so now we can do our plus c. And the last step would be to replace u with what we said it was going to equal. We can multiply these two things as well and convert that back to a square root. So final answer is going to look like a two-thirds. Turning that back into a square root, replacing u, we'll have x to the third minus 1, and then our plus c. <clears throat> so definitely a very straightforward u substitution problem that you would be doing in a Calc 1 class right after you had learned how to do u substitution. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so that they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.